Okay, so the next thing we're going to discuss are the colors that are in um, the stained glass window uh, that you sent me, just to go through colors that you might like in this panel. Um, and these colors can go anywhere. I've really uh, shown you the opalescence for the borders because that's very traditional, but we can go anywhere with this, and there are a couple ways to achieve a couple of different concepts in the window. One is um, blocking the view of people coming in, and the other is um, creating soft tones and textures. So the colors you sent me that were in the window were uh, ambers, turquoises, uh, pale wines, and um, and what was the other one to show you? Oh, oh, and the pale greens. So these are some of the colors that are um, in the window that you sent me. So I wanted to show you how each of these glasses has an interesting texture. This is English Muffle. This is Flemish. This happens to be English Muffle and English Muffle again. Let me put these back where they belong. So the other thing that I want to show you is um, some interesting colors. We have, um, this is a really beautiful um, uh, Sussex green, it's called. It's um, a moss green, but has a really beautiful tone. This is a combination of, uh, you could call it that, opalescent, frosted, and translucent. This is called a stipple glass. And this glass is not frosted. This glass is exactly how it comes, but it's a beautiful warm amber, and you can see how it, uh, how it reacts with the light, and it's got a beautiful texture. So this is a stipple glass, and I also threw in um, a stipple green here, which mimics some of these softer greens, um, simply because um, these are nice things to use in areas because they illuminate differently than all of the other glasses I've shown you so far. So we have um, amber and green stipple, and then we have uh, pretty much some traditional pale green glasses. We have some traditional darker green glasses. We have some traditional little bit more olive based on some of the opalescence that I showed you over here. We have some uh, um, uh, you know, strong green, which is very nice, pale wines. Pale ambers, dark wines, and I want to show you one more thing, and I'm going to do that in another video. Again, I'm keeping these very short. Um, I want to show you some of these traditional colors that I've just shown you frosted.